New details are emerging about a series of projects that will transform the shoreline of San Diego Bay over the coming years. But 10 News reporter John Horn explains how taxpayers could be on the hook for hundreds of thousands of dollars before a shovel even goes into the ground. David Hayworth has spent most of his life sailing San Diego's coastal waters. Started when I was nine years old fishing with my dad, tuna out of San Diego. Now he makes a living fishing for tuna, swordfish, and lobster. His boats, two constants in a sea of change. Hayworth docks them just north of Seaport Village, which the Port of San Diego is eyeing for a $1 billion redevelopment. And there's just been some pictures put out, you know, of, of like Ferris wheels and spears and, you know, just uh, maybe an aquarium and different things like that. Hayworth knows a lot about that project, but the same can't be said when it comes to all the other ones the Port of San Diego is planning, from the Chula Vista Bayfront to redeveloping Harbor Island. The port wants to change that with a PR blitz. It could spend up to $600,000 over the next three years on local firms to get the messages out. It's a lot of money to spend on that. But Hayworth says it could pay off if more people make better suggestions. Others not so enthusiastic. Taxpayer advocate Richard Ryder saying it amounts to publicly funded propaganda. A spokeswoman for the port says the firms would support its in-house staff with outreach on all of the development projects and also for public education. Even so, Hayworth says he likes Seaport Village the way it is, so close to his two boats. You know, any change is, is, is scary for us. But at least he and everyone else would know it's on the horizon. John Horn, 10 News.